Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Welcome to today's CCNP Route and T-Shoot video practice exam. Something a little different today. I don't have a written question for you, but I am going to bring a live Cisco router up on the board in about 10 seconds. Got a couple of questions for you about the output you're going to see. So with no further ado, let's get right to it. I'm not even showing you the entire output of this command because I know you're so good that you don't need it. First off, tell me what command resulted in this output and secondly, tell me the main difference between passive and active when it comes to whatever this is. You really need to be familiar with this one. So we will get back to that in about 15 seconds. Thanks for making my Udemy Video Bootcamp such a huge success, especially you CCNP Bulldogs. Just a quick reminder here, they've made a slight change out there, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, they don't allow us to mention our discount codes over here under the title any longer, uh, and that's perfectly fine. But anytime you're looking at one of my courses, whether it's this one or another one, always look over here because there's always a discount code. And all you got to do is click redeem this code, click apply, and you're in. And in this particular course, over 50 hours of my CCNP training for 99 bucks, and that is period, no monthly charges. Let's get back to that router and see what the heck's going on here. We've got uh, some successors here and something called a FUD, that's an FD actually, for feasible distance. And this passive active thing, we know we're talking about EIGRP. The exact command that results in this output is show IP EIGRP topology. I just put top for short there. And that's going to show you remember your successors and your feasible successors. Now when it comes to passive versus active, if we run this command again right now, you'll see these routes are still marked passive. That's what we actually want. That means they're not currently being calculated or recalculated by dual and they are usable. If we see A next to them for active, that means they're being calculated by dual and we can't use them. That happens so quickly uh, when you've got uh, feasible successors and when you quickly find that backup route that you need in the dual process, that happens so quickly that you might not even see the A. But if you see it there for a while, you know it's stuck and active, and that's a whole other video. So thanks for watching today's video practice exam. Look for these babies four to five times a week. And I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.